or making music with the Minecraft or sound. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to kick things off by dragging in the classic hurt sound. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I'm actually pretty happy with how this sounds. I'm not going to do too much to it. I think I might just shorten the sounds a little bit. That is sounding quite nice and I might just bring on a reverb. Oh yeah. So now I think it is time to record in a melody with the sound here. Let's do this. So now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the sound here. And now I'm just going to change up a couple of the settings. That sounds pretty good. I think it sounds a bit short though, so I'm just going to loop this sample. And I'm just going to make the release a little bit longer. Oh yeah, now I think it just needs a little bit of EQ and then I think it's pretty much done. So yeah, let's go ahead and record in our higher melody. Oh yeah, that is gonna do. And I think I just need to put in one extra note somewhere around here. So I just added on these extra couple of notes here and I think they make the melody sound a whole lot more complete. Yeah, there we go. Now I think this higher melody is sounding a little bit plain, so I'm gonna spice it up a bit by bringing in a whole lot of distortion. Yeah, that sounds better. Now I'm just gonna do a similar thing with the first melody that I recorded in. I guess I'm just gonna call it the bass line. So I just need to change up the envelope a little bit. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's bring on some erosion. Yeah, I like how that sounds. Bring on some chorus. Nope. No chorus. I think I might actually drop it down an octave. That is sounding all right. I might actually offset the pattern a bit. No, that sounds terrible. The tone sounds a little bit off, but I actually quite like it. So I'm going to save that sound for later. So let's just bring it back up an octave. I think I might actually put on some more distortion. So I still want the sound to be a bit more stabby. So I'm actually just going to put a filter onto the original sample. Just like that. Ooh. So I'm pretty happy with how things are sounding so far. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the drum sounds. So first off, I think I'm just going to make a kick drum. So I think we'll just take this section here. Pitch it down a whole lot. And now we just need to switch up the envelope a little bit. I think that is sounding alright. Now I'm just going to put on some pitch envelopes. Oh yeah, that is starting to sound like a kick drum. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull on some distortion. That is sounding good. Now I'm just going to bring on a drum bus and I'm just going to turn up the boom a little bit. Oh yeah, that definitely sounds like a kick drum. So now that I've finished making my kick drum sound, I think it is time to record in a pattern with it. That was easy. So now I think it is time to move on and start making the snare drum. So for the snare drum, I think I'm actually just going to duplicate the... Duplicate? Duplicate the kick drum. And I'm just going to change up a few things, like I'm just going to pitch it up a bit. And I'm just going to mess around with the envelopes and the EQ and all that kind of stuff. I think I might actually need to bring on some erosion, just to bring in some noise. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and record in our snare. Yeah. So now I'm just going to duplicate the snare here and I'm going to change some of the settings to make a hi-hat. So I think we're going to need to get rid of the pitch envelope and we'll just get rid of some of the lower frequencies. There we go, so we have a nice little shaker sound. Let's go ahead and record it in. Too easy, hell yeah. Okay, so now that I've got all the drums that I need for now, I'll go back and make some more later on. But I feel like my bass line that I made at the start isn't sounding too good anymore. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to re-record in a new bass line melody sort of thing. But first, I've actually gone ahead and changed the sound a little bit. So I've actually gone ahead and added on a reverb as well as an auto filter. So this is what it is sounding like now. Let's go ahead and record it in. Oh 
yeah, that sounds nice. So I might actually just take the bass line, which I just recorded in, and I'm actually just gonna duplicate it onto this other track here. We'll just pitch it down one octave. Yeah, that sounds quite good. So now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in another reverb onto this bass line sound. And I'm just going to automate the dry wet, just to have it change over time. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Actually, I think I might also automate this auto filter here. Yeah, I think that works quite well. So I've just taken the original sample and I've just slowed it down a whole lot and I've put on some reverb as well as some delay and I'm just going to use it to record in some little vocal hits. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, that works pretty well. Now I might actually just take this sound and I'm just gonna get rid of all of the effects. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and record that in. an auto filter on it and I'm gonna bring on a reverb as well and I'm just gonna automate this auto filter just like that yeah that works pretty well <laughs> oh that actually sounds really good I don't actually know if I can bring in any more instruments other than the ones that I have here so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this beat as usual I've gone ahead and put on all of the finishing touches off camera and here is the finished beat enjoy Woo! So there we go, that is my beat made using only the Minecraft OOR sound. <laughs>
That was a good one. Make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of it down in the comments, and I will see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.